What's up YouTube? It's Austin from Austin Castle Creations and today we are talking about another experience that I just had um, and as you guys could tell by the title we are talking about my experience at the College Baseball World Series and let me tell you just in advance it was an insane time and I'm super grateful to have had this experience and had the opportunity to go but basically um, Basically, my channel is a few videos. Hopefully, I'm going to produce more and more videos um, of talking videos, sports videos, um, reaction videos, anything you guys want to see, comment down below and I will do that for you. But today, we're doing another talking video and we are talking about my experience at the College World Series. So basically, what happened is um, my so Michigan is in the College World Series right now. They were one of the last four teams in the tournament and um, they have made it all the way to the College World Series. They had to beat the number one seed UCLA to do it and they are on a super hot streak. And um, yeah, it, it's been crazy for them. They've been winning so many games. I think they're like seven and two right now. Um, so they won everything they had to and then the first game in the college world series they played texas tech beat them um and then that put them in the winner's bracket they also they then had to play florida state um which is the game i saw and um spoiler alert you probably already know this but they beat florida state 2-0 and um that was super cool um so now michigan is going to play this friday depending on when this uploads i don't know um and they play the winner of the Texas Tech Florida State game, which we beat both teams. So hopefully, hopefully we can beat them. Um, we need to beat them once. They need to beat whoever comes out. They need to beat us twice. And if we win that, then we go into the uh, final, the championship round. So that's super cool. So hopefully they win. Fingers crossed. Comment down below for good luck. Say go Michigan, go go Blue. Something I don't know. So basically, back to my story. Um, I just wanted to set the scene to let you guys know. Um, a while back, my friend was talking about Creighton the School, which is in Nebraska, um, and they actually host the College World Series. I obviously love baseball. I'm an umpire as well. Um, that's what I do in the summer um, as of now. And basically, um, my friend showed me pictures. They showed me um, their field and talked, to, told me a little bit about it because I believe their dad went to the school. Um, so. At that point, I came super interested. I'm like, yo, I really want to check out Creighton. Like, it looks like a super cool, cool school. But unfortunately, it is from where I am. It's about six hour, six to seven hour drive. So it's a little far away and a trip that um, definitely needs a little time. Um, but then me and my dad uh, love baseball, love Michigan, and we were watching them. And he's like, oh, like we should go down to a game and. Um, I'm like, yeah, that'd be cool, but it's kind of far away, and, and like I have umping to do, I have a lot of work to do, so I don't know if it could happen. Um, that was three days before the Monday game, which was um, when Michigan Florida State played, and basically we were talking about it, and they just beat uh, Texas Tech that day, so it was super cool, and then my dad. Uh, on Father's Day was like, yo, like we should definitely go down um, to Nebraska and watch Michigan play. And I'm like, yeah, that's super, super dope. So then the next day, that Monday, Monday morning, I got up at 7 a.m. and uh, we left around 8.30 a.m., me and my, just me and my dad. Um, I packed a little uh, night bag just in case we stayed there. So then we took a six, it took us six and a half hours to get there. Um, and like I said, like I really wanted to check out Creighton. So my mom also scheduled a um, meeting there at Creighton so then we could um, tour. So then we toured Creighton. And um, so we got into Nebraska to Creighton at or Ryder Hall at about 2.45. Our thing started at 3. 3.30, we start the tour. So then we started the tour. It was just me and my dad and the tour guide. And... Um, we walk out of Ryder Hall, and to our right, we see they have a softball field and the um, Creighton baseball practice field because they play on TD Ameritrade Park, um, which is a little bit away. So we saw Florida State practicing and Michigan. So we saw Michigan practicing on the field, on the softball field, because Florida State was taking BP. 
Um, so we go through the uh, tour. We get back around 4, 10, 4, 20. And um, Michigan is leaving the softball field now and going to BP on the other field, which is right next to it. And uh, our tour concludes. My dad's like, hey, would you want to go check it out? Because we're not supposed to be like, there's a back entrance to the field where you can walk past the softball field and then get on the fence of the um, practice field where they're doing BP. So my dad walked in. I'm like, dad, I don't think we're supposed to be here because there's stands where other people were watching their BP. But we go like right next to the field. So we're on the fence, um, us, the fence, and then the field. And we see all the players and we were just waiting there. I was like, I could see all the starters and stuff. It was really, really cool. And then um, there's this freshman that comes up. I don't know him. I think, I can't remember his number, maybe 24, something in the 20s, I believe. And this guy, kid's raking. He's hitting dingers. He hit like three dingers. One smashed the uh, scoreboard. One, one went over the scoreboard and bounced like way down. And um, then he shot one foul right at us. Not like right at us. It was a little before us. And it went behind us. And um, I went to run and go get it. So I got the ball and I actually kept the ball. Um, so I, I had a ball. This is the ball right here. Um, this uh, NCAA ball, Rawlings. So this guy smoked this ball. As you guys can see, the, those the marks right there. He smoked it foul, line drive foul. Um, I got it and kept it. And then he hit another one over to us. And that one I threw into uh, one of the outfielders. So super, super cool to watch them uh, practice a little bit, do BP. And I actually got a ball. Um, and this is the ball they actually use in the game. Um, so I kept it and it's super, super cool. Then uh, we get in the car, we're driving around, see that it's super, super packed. We're like, hey, should we go get dinner? Um, and um, and then we just, for some reason, um, we're just driving around. And we're like, holy crap, like it's super, super packed. Um, maybe we should just go get tickets. And my dad has a handicap thing on his car. So then we were just wrapping around. We find the handicap thing. We're driving around and uh, we get to where the parking is and the girls hands us the parking slip for free. Normally it's like $25 and he's like, um, this is the last handicap uh, parking slip that we actually have. Um, so that was super clutch. We took the last handicap one and it was completely free. So that was super, super cool and a great start. Um, so then we go park and then we still don't have tickets general admission tickets are $15 and then if you want um, Select seatings uh, it cost $45 a piece. So we go around there's a huge line And then while we we're driving actually to get into our spot We saw this huge line wrapping around the entire stadium and going like super far past and later We realized that was the general admission um, Ticket line so that's how you got in and then the seats are if you find a seat you sit there um, so we decided like it was close to game 30 minutes or a little bit more than that from the game start and we are getting tickets and we decide to get, um, we didn't want to risk getting the general admission tickets and not being able to get in. So we get the more expensive tickets and that's assigned seating. Um, the only ones that were left were ones with obstruction. So, uh, ones with poles in the way, which was a little unfortunate, but it was still good. So we get in the stadium. A little bit after and um, we get food food is pretty good nachos and fries and a drink um, and I got a souvenir cup which is actually downstairs but it's really cool um, and then we get to our seats we're like oh like there's a big bar in our way and we see a little bit in front of us like on the level down there's a bunch of open seats so me and my dad go down there um, and the view was insanely good there's nothing blocking it no one was in front of us it's just a single row of seats and unfortunately the game started 20 minutes after that they kicked us out the people that the seats were belonged to they kicked us out so then we went over to the actual handicap seats um and they were like super open and a guy was like hey can i see your tickets i don't think you're supposed to sit here and then we talked to him and he actually allowed us to stay there which was super clutch those they had like padded seats and the view was insane um so we stayed there the whole game and the starting pitcher for Michigan is actually my neighbor's cousin, um, which we knew. We didn't know he was starting, but um, it was super cool to see him because he actually threw, he apparently a three hitter, but it was really like a two hitter, maybe even a one hitter. Um, scoreless game. He completed the whole thing, played insane, even with like he still had a little bit of flu left in him. Um, 
but he played insane. Michigan, second pitch of the game, a guy hit one out. So we were up 1-0 basically the entire game. We got one more insurance run. So Michigan won 2-0. Um, it was also supposed to pour with thunderstorms the entire night, but it actually held off in the... Um, the weather was amazing, stadium was amazing, view was amazing, game was insane. And then we're leaving, it is 9.30, around 9.30 at this time, we're going down and um, I'm like, Dad, should we like go down and see if we could get like a signature? Because I got the ball um, from BP. And we're going down and we actually see Tommy Henry, which is the pitcher um, who started for Michigan and my neighbor's cousin. Um, and we go down there, he's hugging his family, um, I'm just sitting there with the ball in my hand looking innocent and uh, my dad actually talks to his dad and I'm like hey do you know blah 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 our neighbor and he's like or er, we're your sister's neighbor because that's whatever um, and he's like oh that's super cool and uh, my dad was like so could he get like a signature maybe um, or could he sign the baseball and he's like yeah yeah cool and then he's like Tommy yo get this guy a signature, sign his shit. Um, he obviously didn't say that, but something like that. And uh, so then he pushed me down there um, and then I was right next to Tommy and uh, he actually signed the baseball right here. So he signed the BP baseball that I got from them hitting and he signed it, Tommy Henry right there, number 47. So that was super, super cool. And then I also took a picture with him with that baseball, which I might put at the end of the video. I'll see um, if I could get it. And uh, so then that was super, super cool and insane experience. Like, I think I've only gotten one other baseball signed and he is actually, he's a jun he's going into his senior year and he was drift drafted in the fifth round of the MLB draft to the to Arizona Diamondbacks, I believe. Um, I don't know if he's gonna go or not, but now I have his signature and it was really cool because I felt like connected to him, which I really wasn't. Um, but I knew him because he was, his cousin is my friend um, who I hang out with. And obviously he's my neighbor. Um, so it was, it was really, really cool to get that signature, to get that picture. And um, then after the game, we walk out the stadium and my dad's like, hey, you want to get some merch? Um, so I did pick up a shirt. This is a champion shirt. And uh, it says 2019 NCAA Men's College World Series. And then it has the Michigan Wolverines right here with the M and the bats. And then under, that's what that says. So really, really cool shirt. Um, and it goes with the ball. And then we just got our tickets here. So super, super cool. Um, great experience. The atmosphere was insane. Like there was people doing the waves super fast and then like a slow motion one. Um, they were screaming right field sucks, left field sucks and going back and forth. So super, super fun. Atmosphere was great. Weather was great. The teams were great. The game was great. Um, overall, an amazing experience that I'll never forget and one that I'm extremely, extremely grateful for. Um, so we actually, after the game, it was like 930. We ended up driving well, not me. My dad ended up driving the entire six and a half hours back. So we got in around 4 a.m., which was insane. We were both freaking gassed. We were like, bro, we were laughing. It was insane. Um, we were needing those beds. I slept until 2 p.m. the next day or the same day, I guess. Um, so it was crazy. Great experience. Thank you. Shout out to Tommy Henry for signing the ball um, and for throwing an insane game. I hope the Michigan Wolverines baseball team continue to, to be extremely successful. Um, and uh, I hope they win it all. Or at least, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there. I hope Michigan can win it all. And, you know, hopefully when we can watch this video back after they won and I got a ball signed and I don't know. So comment, go blue, win the chip uh, down below. And um, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you made it this far, comment down below. Tommy, Tommy Henry is the GOAT. All right. That's pretty much it for today's video. Catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Keep up the sport. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like, comment. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.